Good morning and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. This week we will be looking at a passage from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. These verses are a prophecy about the coming of the Messiah, the Messiah who we know to be Jesus, and we will be examining the various titles given to Jesus in this passage. I will now read Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. So the astute amongst you may notice that there isn't really a fifth title stated explicitly. But the last title that I'm going to consider is the title of King. It's not stated explicitly, but rather described. Jesus is described as reigning on David's throne, establishing an justice and righteousness. This is Jesus our King. He is everything you would want a king to be. He brings justice to his land. He brings righteousness. He's a man of integrity. He's both good and powerful. He does what is right at all times. He wants the best for his people. He wants them to live in peace and happiness. Jesus wants to reign in our hearts and in our lives. I wonder, have we allowed him to fully reign in our hearts and lives? Colossians 3.15 says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. And for that to happen, he needs to be in charge of every aspect of our life. This is Jesus, our King. Let him be your King today. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that you gave us your Son Jesus and that he is our King. Help us to allow him to be Lord of every part of our lives. Help us to allow him to rule in us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And finally, let's finish with the morning collect. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings, and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.